Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate a non-inverting amplifier using LM741 amplifier with the help of KiCad tool. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below. The non-inverting amplifier behaves in a similar way to voltage follower. The difference is instead of all of the output being fed directly back to the input only the portion is fed back output voltage is potentially divided across r2 and r3 resistor the junction of resistor r2 and r3 is connected to the inverting input terminal and there is zero voltage drop across r3 resistor so V of R3 would be equal to 0. So current I2 flows through resistor R2 and R3 must be 0. Therefore, 0 voltage drop across the R2. Then the output voltage is equal to the input voltage. You can see the calculation of the gain the non-inverting amplifier using the resistor value of R2 and R3. Let us consider the gain of the op-amp as 56 and the value of resistor R3 as 150 ohm. Based on the above equation, we can calculate the value of R2 and the value of R2 would be around 8.2 kilo ohm. So based on this value let us design the circuit of non-inverting amplifier uh, in the KiCad simulation tool. Click on place symbol and click the cursor on the schematic. Now the global library will load and in this particular global library type LM741 and select the operational amplifier and place this particular operational amplifier in the schematic window. Now we have to place two resistors in the schematic. One would be R2 and another would be R3. Now we must place two resistors in the schematic. So click on schematic. The library will load again and in the filter type P spice and select the resistor and click OK and place the resistor on the schematic. Similarly, place another resistor R3 on the schematic window. Right click on the resistor and click on select properties and then click on edit properties. Now we have to define the reference as R2 and change the value of this resistor as 8.2 kilo ohm and click OK. Similarly, right click on another resistor and select the properties and click on edit properties. Define the reference as R3 and the value as 150 ohm and click OK. Now we must place three global label. One would be for our non-inverting input VCC and VEE. So click on place global label and click on schematic. Click on place global label and click on schematic window and type the label as V non inverting similarly we have to place the label for vcc and vee this label will be considered as the input pin and we must place an voltage source accordingly Click on wire and connect the label 
to pin number 3. The label VCC is connected to pin number 7 and the label VEE is connected to pin number 4. Connect the output of 741 to resistor R2 and from resistor R2 to resistor R3. Now connect the pin number 2 to resistor R2 and R3. Now click on the place power port and now select the ground. Place this particular ground on the schematic and connect this resistor to R3. Place this ground on the schematic and connect this to resistor R3. Again we have to click on place symbol in order to place three different voltage source for the global input which we had defined. So select the voltage source which is V source and place this on the schematic window. Similarly we have to place two more V source. Now click on the place label and click the cursor on the schematic. Enter the label as VCC and click on the schematic again and place the label as VEE. Similarly, we have to place the label V non-inverting. Next, we have to place three different ground connections for three different V source elements. So place this particular ground terminal for three different V source. Now click on wire and connect this particular global label VCC to positive end of V source and the negative terminal to ground. Connect the global label VEE to the positive end of V source and the negative terminal to the ground. Similarly, connect the V non inverting label to the positive end of V source and the negative terminal to the ground. Now, right click on the V source and change the reference as VCC and the value as 5 volt. Next, Again, right click on V source and change the reference as VEE and, and uh, change this particular value to minus 5 volt. Similarly, right click on V source and click on properties, edit property, change the reference as V non inverting and the value as 0. Now click on edit spice model select the source as sinusoidal DC offset as 0 and amplitude as 0 0.1 volt and the frequency as 1 kilohertz now right click on the open and Define the reference as U of 1. Now click on edit spice model. Now select the library file for LM741. So we have to give the path for this LM741.lib file and type this as sub circuit and Define the alternate node sequence as 3, 2, 7, 4, 6 and click OK. Now for the ng-spice to understand the analysis input statement, we have to place an input statement. So click on place graphic text and then type dot Fortran 
4 milli and 8 milli and place this on the schematic window. Now click on simulator and click on the run and stop button. Now click on probe. Place this probe on the input and the output of an op-amp. You can see the transient analysis of a non-inverting amplifier using 741 op-amp. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.